Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Toxie Moxie and we finally have a date for the first major Fields of Mystery update. It's so exciting and I'm really looking forward to all the new additions. So in this video, I'm going to share some tips and tricks on what you can do to prepare for the update and what the update will entail. Don't forget to subscribe for more Fields of Mystery videos if you enjoy this one too. There are lots of new things we'll be getting this update, so I'm going to break down each section with what's coming, if there's anything to prepare for, and tips on how to prepare. The official date is the 18th of November, so we have lots of time for you all to get all you need finished, so there's no need to worry. The first section is villagers and romance. For this, we have three major changes listed. Just a note, these are three main points on the roadmap. There could be more things coming as well. So I guess there are some surprises for us. Maybe a romanceable Ulrich, fingers crossed. Our NPC heart progression will be raising from four to six. In addition to this, we'll have new heart events for all of the NPCs that are dateable. And that is really exciting. I can't wait to see what kind of settings and events we'll have. I adore the characters in Mystria and they all have such great and unique personalities so this is going to be a really fun update. Depending on how you play Mystria or just what you enjoy focusing on, your heart may not be quite at level 4 yet, don't worry because there are a few things you can do to raise your friendship levels with the villagers. A great way of course is talking to the characters, that always gives you a boost and this can be super easy every Friday and Saturday. By attending the Friday night at the inn and also the Saturday market, you'll have all the villagers in one place, making it easier to speak to them all together and it also makes gifting much, much easier. That leads on to my second tip, gifting. You'll get heart boosts by giving villagers gifts and this can be made even easier by cooking likeable food. If you unlock the tier 2 cooking perk, likeable cooking, you can occasionally make a dish that's universally liked by everyone. I recommend you try this with something like coconut milk as it's pretty easy to do. The more dishes you make, the more you'll have a little roster of gifts that you can give to your villagers that they already like. We'll also be having new NPC dialogue. I'm really impressed with the amount of dialogue already in the game. There's not much repetition, which I really appreciate and I think the writing is really, really great. The mines will have new enemies added, I guess from the additional floors we'll have unlocked and we'll also get some new cosmetic drops from the mines. Some of the clothes from the mines are so fancy, like the robe and crown. If you're new to Mystria or not that far along, my advice would be don't donate anything to the museum from the mines unless you have at least two of them because you'll probably need them for unlocking the lower floors and some can be quite difficult to find. Well, it's more so that it can take a long time to see another spawn. You can't just like travel via the lift, you need to like pick a floor and keep going down until you find another. Generally, don't neglect gathering and fishing in the mines. Fishing is a big one, even my fishing in mines is abysmal, but it's okay because we still have time to collect. Our renown cap is going to be raised by 20 levels and in addition to that we'll have more requests on the request board. If like me your renown is currently capped at the max, you can just continue to save up any requests you might have so you can just hand them in all at once when the update comes. We'll also have more museum content and rewards plus a new festival. If you've not completed the museum, don't worry, I haven't either, but you still have lots of time to do it if you are wanting to do that. The new festival sounds exciting. I'm wondering if we'll get an autumn or winter one since the update is coming in November, so it might be themed along a season. Our skill cap will be raising from 35 to 40, so you can use all of the essence you maybe been storing up to unlock your perks. And again, if you're not too far into the game or even just starting, don't worry, there's still loads of time to do all that and just play at your own pace. With the new increase, there will of course be new skill perks to enjoy and I'm really looking forward to this, especially for cooking as I've really started to enjoy that. For those that like decorating and fashion, we will have customization. There will be additional home upgrades, which should be available from the carpenters. 
If this is something you're wanting to expand, don't forget you can always top up your wood by chopping down trees outside of your farm because they just respawn the next day. You should be good on stone, but if not, mine runs are a great way to acquire more stone and other resources too. We'll have additional player and animal customization options. I have to say, I love the little animal accessories. They're so sweet. I do hope we have more toys for the animals in the update. I really want to expand my farm area um, for my animals. So I think having more toys for them would be really cute. And of course, there will be more furniture and decor with new craftable items. This should help you if your carpentry skill is a little low. I feel like fishing and carpentry have been my slowest to progress. I feel that I feel like I'm fishing a lot, but obviously not. I am excited to see what cute new themed furniture we'll have though. There is a section under all of that that says miscellaneous and more. So we will have more surprises, not just the things outlined in the list. What do you think they could be? I'm really looking forward to all the new things coming, especially the requests and new decor. I'm not really the best at decorating, but hopefully I can make my farm look really cute. But what are you most looking forward to? And what would you like to see in the next big future updates let me know in the comments below thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video don't forget to subscribe and like if it's helped you and you want to see more fields of mystery and cozy videos take care bye